On the evening of July 1st, 1863, Robert E. Lee arrived on the Gettysburg battlefield. He probably arrived behind the Confederate lines somewhere prior to three o'clock in the afternoon. But that evening, he rode up onto Seminary Ridge. Uh, members of his staff probably already established that this area would be his headquarters site. Now, at the time of the Civil War, his headquarters was not just himself, but it also included all of his staff officers and all the tents associated with his staff officers. So they chose this location. There is very good evidence that Robert E. Lee himself used the house. One of the persistent myths over the years is that Lee did not use the actual house as his headquarters, that his headquarters were set up in a tent across the street, and there's actually an upright cannon barrel placed by the War Department to mark the site of his headquarters. And there's a quote by Robert E. Lee on the monument itself that talks about his headquarters site. But when you actually look into it, that quote is written, it's actually from a man writing about it in the 1900s who says that years earlier, he spoke to a friend who spoke to John Batchelder, who interviewed Robert E. Lee, and Lee said his headquarters were over there. When you look at all the documentation contemporary to the, the headquarters site, it all points to Lee actually using the house and actually having his tents of his staff on this side of the road around the house. Now, at the time of the Civil War, there was the house. Uh, there was a barn. There was a stable. There was actually another house just beyond where the camera is on the side of Seminary Ridge. So this was a complex of buildings. I find it interesting when you uh, look at videos that people uh, have regarding the site of the Harvest of Death photographs, and they say it's this area of Seminary Ridge. They don't take into account the fact that there was a complex of buildings here. They only want to put Robert E. Lee's headquarters, you know, house out of the view. Now, the, the house itself was owned uh, jointly by the widow Mary Thompson and Thaddeus Stevens, um, who at one time lived in Gettysburg, had moved to York, Pennsylvania, and by the time of the Civil War, of course, was a very powerful congressman. Um, Thaddeus Stevens had helped the widow Thompson in her um, hour of need. Her husband had died. She had eight children, and she raised them in this house. By the time of the battle, the children had moved away, and she occupied one side of the house. It was a duplex. Someone occupied the other side of the house, and we are not sure exactly who did. It's been suggested that perhaps um, she occupied one half of the house. The other house was unoccupied, and that's how... Lee was able to have his meetings in the unoccupied part of the house, but we don't, we have very little documentation on that. So um, Seminary Ridge would be the site of Lee's headquarters during the battle. And this is where he had meetings and where he made some of the decisions that affected the course of the battle on July 2nd and 3rd, 1863.